What's going on you guys? Welcome back to Protective Film Solutions. Thank you for tuning in for today's episode. We are going to be doing a new modification for Project C8. The last we left off, the car got new wheels. Uh, Daniel, what are your thoughts on the new stance of the car? I think this car looks a million times better. Slightly better than before? Just a tad. Okay. So you have faith in my uh, process? So far. Okay. You haven't let me down yet, it's but you have a lot of opportunities to let me down in the future, so. <laughs> I haven't driven it much because of the rain, so I'm hoping the rear settles a little bit more, uh, but overall really happy with the stance of the car. But now we're going to the next round of mods. So today in the video, we're gonna be talking about the steering wheel. So the interior on this car is set up very well. It's really clean, simple, uh, but we did want to change out the wheel. Uh, due to a few reasons, so we'll get to that soon. But in the meantime, we're gonna kind of show you guys the difference of uh, steering wheels from a uh, standard base model car all the way up to the hyper cars and kind of what is the difference between them. Some of them have the push start on the wheel, some of them have no buttons at all, like some of the newer McLarens. We've got a couple of race cars in here as well. Uh, so we're gonna show you guys kind of through the process and then we're gonna show you a step-by-step -step on the steering wheel installing this car. He's so excited, he can't wait. I know, I don't know. <laughs> All right, go over here. All right, so we're gonna show you we have a full house and so we've got a good uh, assortment of different cars. Basic entry level steering wheel. So, of all these cars here, Daniel, what steering wheel do you think that's gonna be? Base. Yeah. I think the million dollar Aston Martin Zagato. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> all right, let's go with Bilko's Tesla. All right. So, watch our step. So, Bilko, if you guys don't know him, we'll put a, uh, a photo of his car here. He actually just uh, traded in the Mustang for his Tesla, so we finished the wrap on it. So, congratulations. That's a joke, by the way. It's not really his car. So starting with a Tesla, this is a Model 3. Super basic, minimalistic, no buttons on the wheel except for uh, on here. Uh, everything else is gonna be on the column up here and then everything of course is gonna be on the dash. It works, but kind of boring to see, right? All right, so by some chance, I'd say the next basic steering wheel is gonna be the new GT3. So showing the GT3 steering wheel, still very simple design. This one has Alcantara on it, uh, which I love, uh, very simple. Does have the 12 o'clock stripe, but it's not colored. Uh, I think that's an option on this car. This one has a little bit more options for the buttons on here. You've got your drive mode as well. Very simple, uh, works for Porsche. I like it a lot, but nothing crazy, right? No push start on the steering wheel. So I might eat my words a little bit. The Aston Martin, even though this car is uh, a much more expensive car, I would say this is actually a very simple steering wheel. So for those of you who don't know what this is, this is a Zagato, extremely rare. I'm a big uh, Aston fan, so I love the car. Uh, so this one, uh, again, very simplified steering wheel. A little bit more buttons on this one than I remember on my car. Uh, this is obviously a little bit newer of a model, uh, but still very basic. This one is all leather. Same thing, you've got the 12 o'clock stitching, non-colored. And then of course you have a column mounted uh, paddle shifter. Aston Martin steering wheel. I like it. So next car, this is gonna be the all new Black Series. Super cool color. So a little bit more complicated, if you will. Thank you, Jose. Um, still very clean design on the outside. It's all Alcantara. You've got the 12 o'clock stripe up top. Same thing, it's just the black. It's not colored after the body. But as you can see, you've got quite a more uh, new options on the steering wheel for infotainment, um, as well as the settings for uh, the driving. So next car is gonna be the Ferrari 48 Pista. All right, so in this car, this one is spec'd out. Uh, this has black leather, uh, has the carbon fiber on top, carbon fiber on the bottom, carbon fiber center. This also has the uh, shift light up here as well that lights up when it's getting close to the red line. And then this is gonna be the first of the wheels that is gonna show the push start, which is on there, as well as all the race modes and settings. So, so that's the Pista for you. I think we're finally getting somewhere with the Pista. What's that? That's a good looking wheel. It's a really good looking wheel. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. Uh, but one step up from the Pista is gonna be the SF90. So while this one might look a little bit more simple than the Pista, it's actually not. If you look down here, all this lights up. It's all digital. So same thing, you've got Alcantara on this one. You've got carbon on the top, carbon on the bottom, the shift light, the tree glory stripe, and then everything else down here is all digital. Really cool, and when the car's on, everything lights up. So kind of cool to see. All right, next car, this is our uh, front Hyper NFT's car. This is the all exposed carbon Senna. So I'm kind of going backwards now on this one. 
Uh, this steering wheel is a mix of carbon and leather. This does have the uh, paint match 12 o'clock stripe. The whole purpose of the 12 o'clock stripe is when you're turning the wheel and racing, you always want to know where that uh, top part of the steering wheel is at all times. Very, very simple steering wheel. No buttons at all on this one. Next, we're going to go and move over to the race car because we have a Ferrari 488 uh, GT3 Challenge car in here. Uh, so this is obviously going to be the best looking steering wheel. This is our friend's uh, Ferrari 488 uh, Challenge Evo is the proper name to it. Uh, you guys have seen this car before. We did a full clear bra and race livery on there and uh, he's been tracking already. Uh, this is here from our show, so we're just scoring it for now. This is going to be obviously a full race wheel. So what I mean by that is this is going to be a detachment on there. So on the back side of the wheel, you can actually see where there's a quick release where this whole wheel actually will come off of there so you can get in and out of the car easily. This has everything loaded with it. This is the real deal full race car. So kind of cool to see the variants of steering wheels uh, in each car. Uh, but that leads us to what we're gonna be putting in Project C8. So without further ado, this is gonna be the new steering wheel from our friend Eric at Carbontastic for Project C8. Master Tech, and he is going to be taking on the project right now while I jump back on a few emails and calls, but I'll be back with you guys shortly. So I trust you that you're not going to explode the airbag. Okay. It's going to only be the second time you've done it. If you ever need to remove the emblem off your steering wheel, just grab a screwdriver, get under here, you push really hard, and... <coughs> I'm just going to make sure you disconnect the battery Disconnected. Power's off. Minutes. Yeah, little, little what are you doing there, Ralph? It's around. I'm just taking these two. There's gonna be two tens on each side. Those tens. It'd suck if it exploded on them. Here, catch. Break your part. <laughs> Put some muscle into it this time. Oh my god, I'm trying. You wanna hold this steel for me, please? Alright, power. Nope. Oh, no, I got it. Yeah. Did he? Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, Brandon. Toolbox. Lock tight. Is to lock it. How much are you gonna torque that down? 33 foot pounds. How do you count foot pounds? You weigh it. All right, Brandon, come on, muscle man, hold this down for me. All right, let's torque it down. How many is this? There it is. Got the airbag. Good. Getting that 10 back in there? Yeah, all right, now we can just plug in the battery. All right, so new wheel is in. Daniel, this is so much better. Yes, sir. So much better. This just flows so much better with the interior as well. So I try to make it so it didn't stick out too much. So as you can see now, once it's installed with the uh, white stitching, the white 12 o'clock strip, uh, the carbon fiber which ties into the seats, I wanted to make it look and like OEM plus. It's perfect. Drove the car already, uh, feels good, it's comfortable. So big thank you to Eric at Carbontastic. So guys, it's really easy to order these steering wheels. We'll show you right here. So you can go straight to carbontastic.com. Uh, there's gonna be a drop down for all makes and models. And then you can go in and pick and choose how you wanna start. We are gonna be starting to expand in a division of doing some more uh, installs, stuff like this. So if you've got a C8 and you want a Carbontastic steering wheel, uh, please do not hesitate to give us a call and uh, we'll be happy to get you going. On that note, steering wheel is in, the wheels are on. So we are finally getting to the next phase of Project C8, which is the most exciting phase. It's gonna be the arrow. So next video of Project C8, we're gonna be changing out the front lip, the sides, 
we're gonna be getting to the rear diffuser, rear bumper, uh, starting to pre-plan the exhaust because the exhaust, half of it is created and ready to go in. Um, and then we've got the wing in production right now as well. So really excited to show you guys the full transformation on Project C8. And uh, we've got a couple drives coming up, right? Yes, sir. We're gonna announce a C8 only drive. I'll put that out soon. So uh, stay tuned guys, because we'll try to get that on video. And uh, as always, big thank you for watching the channel. And we'll see you guys soon. See ya. What you doing there, Ralph? It's going around some bolts. I'm just taking these two. There's gonna be two tens on each side. Those tens. Those. Those tens. Those tens. Two tens. Two tens. That's what I walked out of the club with the other night. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about money. I think he's talking about birds. Like females? No comprende? No. How about you put it in? How about you let me do what I do? Let's just put it in. How about you just get the job done, Ralphie? You know what, let me look at it again. Since oh my god. So How's it look this time? Just like the better time before? Than, better than the first time. Oh, I it did? It's true. So something else that you didn't see the first time? Uh, yeah. Great that it gets back. Two things potentially. One thing. He's in the middle of something, dude.